वेलकम बैक आफ्टर राइटिंग मेनी नोट वर्दी बुक्स लाइक स्प्रिंग स्पॉन्ज फॉर गॉड सेक नवाब नूड्स एंड नूडल्स एडवर्टाइजिंग वेटरन अंबी परमेश्वरन इज लॉन्चिंग अ न्यू बुक दिस वीक ऑल द वर्ल्ड स्टेज अ पर्सनल ब्रांडिंग स्टोरी द बुक एक्चुअली वर्क लाइक अ रोड मैप टू वर्ल्ड वॉट why and how of personal brand building to tell us more we are joined in by the author himself on the show congratulations on yet another book i have read all your books cover to cover and this one is much different as compared to the other books other books were laced with case studies and examples from the work that you have done over the years worked on different brands and ex those examples were there in uh, the other books but this one is sort of um, like a fictional story kind of a thing that you have uh, written tell us more about it and also the title is very interesting all the world's uh, stage uh, which is borrowed from shakespeare yeah. yes yeah, yeah. so okay. tell us so, more about you know, that so the idea of this book came up during the lockdown and i got a call uh, a few days later from iit madras saying look uh, we want to do something for our you know alumni can you deliver a talk so one talk i gave on branding what is called branding 101 second talk i gave on living the brand which is b2 uh, b branding mm. the third talk i gave on building your personal brand mm. literally a week later i got a call from someone who said look uh, you you know we attended that talk on personal branding can you do that for our you know people and that led to another talk another talk another talk and then i said look there is something happening with personal branding so i started collecting you know articles like you know books and articles started reading them and then i broadly had an idea that i should write a book on personal branding and here of course there is a character called ambi but you have mentioned right at the beginning of the book how personal branding helped you when you know you no longer were a ceo of an xyz organization uh, can you share how can an individual build a personal brand while working for a company or an organization okay i think uh, in certain professions hmm. building your personal brand helps your organization hmm. right so advertising for sure we have uh, yeah. we have seen how mustache or a topi has really worked yeah, i mean uh, the fact that you know going and giving talks mm. uh, meeting new people mm. uh, you know writing articles and let's say coming on your show mm. giving interviews all this helps you as an individual it also helps your company because you're talking about your campaigns etc etc it helps your company so it, it helps both ways the dicey thing there is and i think i've discussed that in the book is that if when do they start operating at cross purpose and that's something one has to watch out for I cannot if I am working in a company I cannot build my brand hmm. at the cost of my company's brand hmm. so I always have to be clear this is my what my company stands for hmm. and whatever I say or do on my personal space should pull in the same direction hmm. like for example if you if I am working in a company I cannot go and uh, write an article which is defamatory about a brand we work on right it's it's, it's not correct right so I don't do that but if you are able to do this ride this you know double header uh, you know uh, the two horse thing then when you get out of a full time job you can then have your horse and ride that horse it's good to have a something in addition to work as a passion because through that you will meet a lot of interesting people which may end up helping you in your work as well like for example you are a anchor you are a television journalist you are a recognized person but you also have a second life you are a athlete right you run marathon you run god knows how many marathons how many of those mountain climbing stuff you've done that's your passion correct but through that you you can meet very interesting different people yeah so when you use the term networking a lot of people say yaar networking is very cheap skate like you go to a party and distribute your visiting card that's not networking hmm. the real networking is developing a parallel group of people whom you are with hmm. who you are passionately involved with and therefore you are spending time effort it could be like what you are doing hmm. it could be a running group uh, it could be an ngo uh, it could be uh, an educational institution you are involved with uh, or it could be a music circle hmm. it could be a painting circle be anything finally before we go who is this book for who should read it in the book i presented one character as ambi right i mean all the other characters are 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 fictional and i've also mentioned 
that this Ambi in this book is much younger than me, right? much younger, 20 years younger than me. The reason is that I wanted this conversation to be among, uh, say, four or five people who are in the 45 kind of an age group. Mm. Right? So this book is meant for anyone from the age of, let's say, 20, 21 mm. to 40, 45. I'm not saying that if you're beyond 45, you can't build your personal brand. You can. Mm. But the earlier the start, the better it is. Ambi, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us and sharing these insights about personal branding. Thank you very much. With that, it's a wrap on Storyboard this week. You can catch all of our content on Facebook, Twitter and YouTube. Thanks for watching. We will be back same time next week. See you soon.